Hi everyone. If you've ever wondered what a Y-DNA haplogroup is and why you should know yours, uh, then this video is for you. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I want to show you how to find out the Y-DNA haplogroup of your test if you've tested on Ancestry.com or uh, MyHeritage or 23andMe. Uh, 23andMe already gives you your haplogroup and um, there's a neat tool that will look at your raw DNA file if you're, a gen if you're born a genetic male. Uh, you can find your Y-DNA haplogroup for free with your raw DNA file from Ancestry.com or from MyHeritage.com. And if you've, again, if you've tested with 23andMe, you should already have it. But still, these are neat tools to look at uh, and compare to the data that you've been given on 23andMe. And if you don't have any data, if you've only tested on Ancestry.com, but wish you knew your Y-DNA haplogroup or the Y-DNA haplogroup of a patrilineal ancestor of yours, and you have access to the raw DNA file, this is how to do it. Not only will you get this neat uh, link to your theoretical migrations for your patrilineal ancestors, your ancient patrilineal ancestors, that is, you will also get a link to the y full tree and your haplogroup's position on that y full tree. And from that tree, you can learn approximately the age of that Y-DNA haplogroup, as well as the ancestors and the steps above that Y-DNA haplogroup. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed with information, uh, just make sure to subscribe to my channel and watch for more videos uh, for you to learn what to do once you've learned your Y-DNA haplogroup and once you've learned what your line of descent is from Y Adam. I won't try to overwhelm you today. I want to primarily just show you how to learn your Y-DNA haplogroup. So for starters, you need to have tested with Ancestry.com or MyHeritage in order to have your, uh, be able to gain access to your raw DNA file. Uh, from those sites. So you should already have that downloaded. Again, this test is for genetic males. So if you are a genetic female and you've tested your father or your brother who's your father's son or a male cousin who is along that patrilineal line that your father is or any other patrilineal line that you're wanting to research in your tree, just make sure you've downloaded the raw DNA file of that particular test taker first and you have it ready to go. Then what you're going to want to do is go to cladfinder.yseek.net. Another quick way to find it is to just simply go to google.com. Type in yseek and you'll see it here. yseek clad finder. Search that and it's the first one that comes up to take you to YC Clad Finder. Uh, once you're on that website, you're going to see some information about the tool, uh, a precursor to the tool. There's another uh, precursor tool uh, that was available for many years called the Morley DNA Predictor and some additional information. Uh, you're going to want to scroll to the bottom of the page and you're not going to want to paste any snips. Uh, once you have that raw DNA file and you know where it is on your hard drive, go ahead and select Choose File. Select that raw DNA file and you'll see it begin to unzip the archive. Now, you, this is not uploading the data to the YSeq site in the, in the same sense that you would upload to GEDmatch or to MyHeritage.com or to FamilyTreeDNA.com. You're only uh, caching the file on the site to run through this tool and within 24 hours it will be deleted. As you see, I didn't even need to put a name with the file that I was uploading. The only uh, thing that I don't really like about the tool is that when it's done unzipping, it doesn't give me any notification that it's done. It just puts me back up here to the top of the page and doesn't tell me that I need to look below for the results. So what I do now is I just scroll down below and I look here in this section on the page and it tells me that the most specific position on the Y full Y tree is E-M191. Um, so what I can do is I can click this yellow square which takes me to that position on the Y full tree. And I can see that E-M191 uh, is about 5,300 to 6,100 years old. 
Uh, it is the haplogroup for my patrilineal ancestors along my father's line because this is a known cousin who's tested for me and as a representative of that line. I've also made sure that he matches everybody on autosomal DNA the way that he should to be a descendant of that patrilineal ancestor. So what I can see here is that he's E-M191. I can jump back here, click this little globe icon to be taken to the theoretical migration page, and it will show me the patrilineal ancestors theoretical migrations on the continent of Africa uh, beginning in about 4700 BC uh, and then it just shows me the migration throughout the continent these are theoretical only because we don't know and geneticists don't know the precise migrations but they're using Y-DNA testing to determine the migration patterns um, the migration routes of our ancient ancestors so then it stops here um, so it's a neat tool for me to look to see that this is definitely an African um, haplogroup. Uh, so I know that on my father's patrilineal line, there's an unbroken line between him, from him to his father, to his father before him, to that father before him, back to the continent of Africa. It doesn't tell me who that ancestor is. It doesn't tell me what ethnic group or tribe they may have belonged to, um, because again, these are ancient um, ancestors, but it does tell me that there's an unbroken line. I have uh, used this tool on other cousins that I have to identify European haplogroups where there is a broken line, um, that there is a enslaver who fathered a son with an enslaved woman and that that led down to my father's uh, parents, uh, to one of his parents. So, and I've used that and Y-DNA testing to break down the brick walls and identify the enslavers slash ancestors along those lines. So knowing your haplogroup can be a powerful tool for you, uh, especially if you're researching uh, enslaved ancestors like I am, uh, it, can, it can give you an idea of what your ancestors' origins are and also how and where you should be researching those ancestors as well. So that's all for today. I will go into detail on future videos as to more things you can do with your Y-DNA haplogroups. So hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel so you can see future videos. Feel free to share any comments with me below on if this tool is helpful to you or if you have questions or what you would like to see for future videos. Thank you guys. Have a good day.